Holy roly poly moly guacamole, it's Will Survives and I'm scoobity boop bop bat with another one. Hey. 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 Big old pups, we keep getting snow guys. It's getting ridiculous. The things we needed to finish up hoop spot, the delivery got delayed on that because of the snow. We finished digging out the pond completely. Uh, man, on other platforms I had posted about it and everyone said it's not deep enough. It is four feet deep, deep enough? It might not be deep enough. It might need to be deeper, but will it work? I'm not sure. But it's uh, covered in snow again. Should be cleared up in the next couple days. Guys, rabbits. The rabbits are out. I realized that rabbits are going to be a big source of food for me next winter if I can get good at getting them. And so I'm definitely making that one of my priorities. While I'm on the topic, I also realized uh, I should probably go to the lake a lot this summer and catch my limit of trout and see if I can like, can I preserve a bunch of trout somehow? If I catch a bunch of fish uh, this summer, save them for next winter. Cause that would be dope. But guys, right here is the pond liner and right here is the underlayment. I got both, uh, should be big enough. I got some plans like a uh, little, little dam right back here. Uh, this was Derek's idea. So that the water doesn't backfill all the way back here and it kind of stays in here. Cause this is also the only spot where the tarp will be and we don't want it sinking. We don't want water draining back there. Yeah, little solar power, solar powered fountain. Keep the water moving a little bit at least. But yeah, it's all done. I think I maybe got video. Yeah, I definitely should have video. It might be on Jesse's phone. I'll try to put a video in here of what it looks like all dug out without the snow. The pups are now 38 and 36 pounds growing. The reason uh, you're not gonna be seeing uh, me building in these videos is because Jesse is filming all of the building and we're putting the building videos together every project so i'll post a video making a pond making a dog house you know what i mean so i'm sorry you guys haven't gotten any building videos lately because we haven't been able to finish any of our projects but soon there will just be a lot of videos right at once pretty much and then it'll be very consistent and fun this summer. I'm so hyped for the summer, bro. <laughs> this is the beginning of the doghouse. This is what I was able to get done before all of this happened. Uh, so this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna, I have that, uh, that I gotta, man. Got that for the floor. It's gonna be, it's eight by four, hopefully big enough for two full grown Pyrenees. It's gonna be real big for them now, but it'll be cool later. Man, I got, Two sheets of plexiglass for a sick window right here. They'll cover like almost the whole thing. Nah, you know what? It'll be fine. <sighs> yes. Okay. We're, we're money. We're money. I got informed that the plexiglass would make it extremely hot in there. And I was like, oh, you know what? That is true. And that's bad. But I just realized the sun's over that way. It might get up to like here. Oh wait, no, it's right up there right now. Yeah, it might get up to like uh, directly above. Yeah, okay, actually won't be good in the summer. But what I was thinking is I could build like an awning type thing to protect the sun from hitting the window so that they could still look out at everything. Chickens. I'm going to it's gonna have two dog doors, one on this side, one on this side. I didn't really think through the whole, no, it'll be fine because they, they're gonna have a big bed. The, the door right next to the bed is kind of tough, but I'll just build a little awning right there. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be sweet. Little dog door right here, dog door right here. Uh, this is going to be fenced from there. Bam, bam, bam up to here for the chickens. Guys, if I get goats, I would want to build up a bunch. Uh, if I don't give them lots of space, they're just gonna escape and I'm gonna have to run down goats all the time. Wouldn't be sick. But I'm, I'm almost rethinking goats, guys. Too much risk for not enough reward, I'm thinking. You know what I mean? But yeah, so they'll be able to go 
and hang out with the animals if they want or they can be in their dog house or they can go into the cabin. I'll probably put a little dog door on the cabin. I don't know. That'll be cold. Maybe I'll do it, but they can go out into just everywhere too if they if they want. Yeah, it is a good spot and it's, it's sweet. I'm getting organic grass-fed ground beef now for me, Jesse, and the pups. Uh, the pups are getting just regular dog food throughout the day and then at night they get, I do dog food and they each get half a pound of grass-fed organic ground beef and one egg with the shell. I try to break it up as much as I can. What else goes in there? They got little uh, like vitamin thingy majiggies and salmon oil. Ooh, and a little bit of honey. I throw a little bit of honey in there. Do I put anything else in it? I forget. But yeah, and each one big strawberry I cut up and then I just mix it all up and they seem to really enjoy it. And I think that should be pretty healthy for them. Make them grow big and strong. Me and Jesse are going to be trying to switch to a different diet. Only like, it's like six ingredients we're gonna be eating. Grass fed, organic ground beef, wild caught salmon, eggs, blueberries, avocados, a nice juicy steak here and there. And I think that's it. Can we survive off just those? If not, what other ingredients should we buy? There's probably other good like superfood veggies or fruits that we could be eating. People have recommended a uh, that I keep my generator as backup for next winter um, instead of just the solar panels, but I'm not too worried about doing everything perfect with the challenge, obviously. I'm, I'm willing to go to the store for dog food or for water um, for the animals. Uh, but to count the challenge, no, nah, I don't know. It wouldn't feel as cool if I had a backup generator and I was going to the store still to keep fresh gas up here in case of an emergency. But the main reason, guys, is I like not having wi-fi out here when i first got here i had to drive like 30 minutes every time i wanted wi-fi and uh i think it was helping me enjoy it more when I, you have access to wi-fi it's so much easier to use it and uh and it's fun i like worrying about things i like worrying about things they don't Put me in a life or death situation but a very scary situation or not fun i don't like being in it's it's hard to explain but i like not having wi-fi if i can't post for a week because i don't got power i'm not too worried about that it would be more fun for me and a little bit more fun for you guys so i'm just gonna do the solar panels i'm gonna try to have enough power to upload keep my upload uh whatever uh schedule um but if it doesn't happen uh, you know it's not the end of the world my dad is coming back he's gonna be getting here driving down from oregon around april 10th and his plan is to build a shelter you guys aren't even ready for this ready under the bus oh my god one of the pups just shit or farted yeah and with only hand tools he he doesn't really care what he does he says he just wants to dig as i've said before my dad is weirder than me somehow <laughs> he uh he's gonna come out here with uh shovels i got some shovels and i got a sweet silky saw for him to use and he's got hand auger and he's gonna make it happen i don't know how but it's gonna be sick i could promise you that
He'll be filming everything and I'm gonna edit it all together and make a video for you guys. Uh, if you guys wanna check out what he does, he is a glass blower. He makes things that I bet you could guess what it is if I don't say it. And it's really cool, you should check him out. Special K Glass, Special K Glass.net. He's on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram. Check it out. Sun's finally peeking through. It's what it had on the forecast. I'm thinking all of this snow should melt in the next two days. And then we can start going ham, or at least on the parts where we're walking. And then we can get back to it. It's gonna be muddy for about a month or two. Hopefully we don't get another snow. Ah! But once the snow stop, the rain starts, and that's not much more fun. But I'm an Oregon kid. I'm used to the rain, so. Yeah. Top comment says, should get some trackers for them pups. I'll always do what the top comment says. So, uh, I got this tomorrow at 8 o'clock. By 8 o'clock, it should come to uh, GPS callers. And they have a... GPS fence I can set up or something like that. Someone has to make a cheaper version of that that works just as good. I have gone through and read all of your guys' lovely comments and have picked out a few that have sparked ideas or uh, were questions that I wanted to answer for you guys. Oh my God, I got right. The person painting a memorial piece for Hoop that you're sending to Lucky's P.O. Box. Thank you very much. I'm so excited to get it. I'm gonna hang it up in the cabin. If it can be outdoors, I'll hang it up that hoop spot. Uh, but also anybody else that wants to send any art of hoop or anything, that would be really cool. I will, I will use it. Um, I'm thinking about trying one last piece for hoops hoop. I want to maybe try to do a wood sculpture. I've never sculpted anything. And if I was ever gonna freaking put in hours to sculpt in something, it would be something like that. I think it'd be cool. Cool little project, put it right next to the bench. But yeah, saw someone saying, I have to research what plants do good above 6,000 feet elevation. If I have to research what plants do good above 6,000 feet elevation, I definitely have to, cause I'm 8,500 feet elevation. So I didn't know that. That's good to know. Thank you. I don't know why I walked down here, but I walked down here. Uh, I've been working out every morning. Not much because we don't have the uh, barbell yet. That's one of the packages that got delayed. But um, right now I'm just rotating between curls, push-ups on the bench because there's snow, and uh, pull-ups until I feel like I'm going to die. And then I'll probably start playing basketball too when the snow melts. But it's, it's so fun hanging out down here. Uh, I'm glad I built this spot for Hoop and the awesome bench. I should clear that off. But, oh, yeah. I got to get some clips for you guys. I got the tripod ready. Saw a comment uh, talking about the stagnant water in the pond. Yeah, that is not good. And my plan would not be for the dogs to drink them. But, yes, the dogs might drink out of the pond. Uh, so, hopefully the... Uh, solar powered fountain thing I get will will work pretty good but if it doesn't clean up the water good enough then I'll build a little fence around it thinking about doing a greenhouse saw a comment about a greenhouse definitely might do a greenhouse pups are doing very good with training uh, have moved on to stay currently working on stay but let's go Uh, stays a little tricky But so far every trick's been a little tricky. Just gotta be patient Good boy, buddy. Good boy Yeah Good boys What's up? What's up guys? I know what I have to do To end the video and it's actually a cool thing that I came down here Ah oh, Man, thank you guys for sticking with me. It was six days that I hadn't posted. What do you guys think about weekly uploads? I could take an extra day to edit and 
take more time editing uh, and there would just be more content in the video more stuff to cover be a little more exciting You guys might get a little worried You know five days in you're like man No, I'll still post shorts. I could post shorts still But uh, what do you guys think about once a week? high quality Let me know. I'm totally cool doing either whatever you guys want All right, we are going to pray. I can do this first try I'm going to give you guys a little energy ball from hoop. And then I'm going to go hit a hoop dog for hoop. Uh, oh, man. I'm a little sore. And I don't want to walk back and forth and do this lots of times. So let's get into it. Energy ball, wha bam <laughs> Hope you felt it. Hey, hey, I make the glizzy flip right the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I really didn't looking out for bears, could Willie eat the same food as him? I should probably buy what's though, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the store. I'm in my bag looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.